Hello and welcome, this is Spadget Sims and today I'm going to be having a look at the entries for the Horrible Curtains Challenge and, um, and handing out some prizes. So I want to apologise first, um, like this competition had a deadline of January the 14th I think it was and this is nearly three months later when I'm finally getting to um, have a look at these. Um, I am so sorry, I've had so many things going on in my personal life and I will probably even make a video of it because some of it is things that I want to raise awareness of um, and yeah so I, I won't spend long talking about it now because you're probably all really excited to actually see everyone's entries I'm blown away by them it's so impressive like honestly so impressive so um, this is how many we've got I've laid them all out um, as rooms on this lot and um, yeah, they're, they're great. Anyway, so once again, massive apologies. I um, really honestly didn't expect that I wouldn't be making videos. I haven't even been playing the game. So um, I really miss Sims. I miss all the community. I've not been on Twitter hardly at all. I've not been active in the community and I miss you all. Thank you for supporting me. Um, I've had some really nice messages from individuals that I talked to and I, really thank you so much um i really appreciate your support um and some of what's gone on in the last few months has been really difficult so um yeah i'm gonna crack on i said i wasn't gonna spend much time talking about it i'm gonna crack on now and have a little look around each of these rooms tell you who it's by i'll stick all the links to people's origin ids in the um in the description and um and their twitter handles as well if I can find them uh, <laughs> so yeah because not everyone has them on their uh, like on their bio so um firstly I'm gonna have a little look at the actual starting thing so that all the rules were so you have this five by five room you have these horrible curtains which they're not horrible like I mean some people said oh but they're really nice the point is you could make something that people would consider horrible you could make a room like really bad with these they wouldn't go with i don't know like a really plain room or something but i love color i love clashing colors i love different shapes and basically the brief was just in this five by five box you could change the light i put a spotlight there just to um you know just to light this up for when i took the picture of it but um yeah you've you've got these curtains and you can do whatever else as long as you don't move the curtains and basically embrace the curtains so what i'm looking for before i look at these is like these have got flowers on they've got geometric geometric shapes they've got a range of different colors so how much of that is included and then overall as a room does it feel like things just thrown together or does it actually feel like a cohesive room do i love the room like which is just me you know just being do i love the room and um yeah like i just i'm just excited to see you know if people come up with clever ideas you know anything like that so let's move through the wall we into the first one so this first one is uh by cc bug and we can see i've put them all um orientated them around so that they've got the curtains on this wall some people have chosen like with this one to um let's move down a bit that's better uh chosen to uh, also put a second set on so i love the use of plants we've got the nice kind of aqua blue there we've got the yellow uh, we've got the purple um even like you know the blue and yellow together and white and stuff like that i can't see any of like the pale green but it's the brief wasn't necessary to add every single color it's a really it does feel like a nice room like it doesn't feel that far-fetched that if someone had this furniture and this decoration that they would use these curtains i really do love that plant actually it's really nice um yeah so it's good like i'm a maximalist so i'll see what else comes up like it's it's a really nice room though i do like it so let's go into the next one. Oh, now this <laughs> see i can't help it there are certain styles that i absolutely love so this one the last one i don't think had a door so that you could get in and out not that that was in the brief but you know um oh this is 
this is really smart just in how it's put together oh oh it's beautiful I love how this the wood tones have got kind of like purple kind of a purpliness to the wood and then you've got a purple painted wall there anyway I mean this is really good it's so smart okay so let's go around the things I like so um, yeah like that vase for instance that's got that pale minty color and it's got the pale yellow um, it's also sort of a floralish theme but what I love also is the geometric shapes that have been been included so that like Moroccan uh, stuff you know with like the lamps and the and the side tables and everything is really good um, we've got the gold in there the right shade of gold and really can be quite picky in sims with like matching the different um, metal colors um, and like that that top light there like definitely matching in with uh, with the curtain pole and that kind of stuff they fit that window really nicely I don't know if they've adjusted the size or whatever but oh my goodness this is by pickled tiara by the way and I was looking up everyone you know just before oh my god I don't think I've ever seen that color swatch in that chest of drawers that's so pretty and I really love how different things from different packs have been used like that shelfy thing from paranormal like I never get chance to use that but that actually goes really well there's some really there's some really smart like pairing of items and stuff with this I think um oh and those I love the the like knitted beanbag cube things yeah there's a lot of things that I just really love and I just I do feel like these curtains have been embraced in this room but in a kind of subtle way almost even just getting a bit of the white in there you know like with the with the window seat it's just really smart like the way that there's different types of purple tones and things like that so it's not one dimensional it's a nice amount of clutter without being like over the top or anything although I do love over the top but it's just it's really nicely done like really I'm really impressed with this one and um yeah pickle tiara I don't know why but I didn't know her before I think it's a, a her and um yeah she like well I, I've now just started following her on twitter um apologies I didn't look at your pronouns <laughs> I know people can get um you know offended by I'm sorry basically anyway um I think yeah anyway I didn't I didn't um follow her before and I do now like because I was blown away looking at her profile of all the other stuff so but I mean this is lovely and I do love anything from Ireland living like it's so beautiful this is solidly good right next room okay so we're now in madam cloud's um room so i did because these curtains are only available if you have the city living pack i did give an alternative curtain option which are these crazy ones so not a great color they're not the nicest textured or anything and but they have got little dinosaurs on <clears throat> now i think this room does thoroughly embrace these curtains i mean that sofa's a really good match for them like the style is actually really nice like compared to what i would have thought you'd get from using these curtains i think um yeah i think this is a really good job there are some like it's nice like to keep some of the things like we've got some symmetry going on here um I've never even seen this is one of the things I do love about doing these competitions and sort of hosting them is that I with no CC there are things in the game that I've never seen before like I have not seen that bird thing on the wall I don't know whether that is supposed to be like wall art or something or if it's something else that's been like placed there cleverly but I mean I've never seen that before um yeah some just really nice things some gold tones and stuff like obviously these other curtains I've got like different metals and and things like that but like that's okay like I think I think it's a really really cool effort so next room well this is a good start already as I love this door Let's go. <gasps> okay look how beautiful it is look at it just 
layering like so that is a wall covering not wall covering whatever they're called you know things that go on the wall that aren't pictures or mirrors <laughs> a but like a wall thingy from paranormal and then that really nice mirror that I like on top with another really nice mirror that I like on top of that like I just love the layering of oh, some more of the oh and those wall lights actually look really cool paired with those mirrors there's a lot of layering and things and I, I really like these curtains used as like a fireplace surround and everything oh um yeah this is by uh dotty dot by the way um <laughs> sorry I just oh and then you've actually got like those wand things with that oh, wow there's some cool things in here. Now I know that I've got to speed up because I spend ages. We've got some a fair bit of symmetry in here. We managed to fit a bar in there. Like there's quite a lot of stuff from Paranormal. I really like the mirror behind these curtains. They're my favorite curtains in the game. Not necessarily this swatch, but you know. Um, yeah, it's a really cool effect actually. Like the pictures and everything in there, like. Oh, I managed to use that um, that music thing, whatever that sound system's called, without it actually looking really modern. You know, it kind of blends in. That's a good tip. Um, and I like that, you know, not many people, I think, will probably embrace the red. Oh, we've got some custom window covering stuff going on here. Like, like that beam and everything in there. Like, I mean, there's a lot of work that's gone into this. I love the stained glass window as well. There's just all sorts of stuff going on here. Um, I mean, and there's, yeah, and there's geometric shapes in here. Yeah, there's a lot. I love it. I just love it. Okay, let's go. Next room. I really apologize, anyone, if I'm just not spending much time uh, in your rooms. This is Marcella, Marcella Costa. She She's actually submitted four different rooms. Um, we can see that there's been some overlapping of images there because it's uh, it's glitching in this mode. But I mean, like, I don't care. This is this is lovely. Again, we've managed to get like the pale green in there from that picture. The clutter has been placed really thoughtfully. I love that telly. I love it when people use that telly. Uh, first saw that on a you know from a challenge I hosted. Really nice plants and stuff been used. Really smart use of placing things in the uh in the whatever bookshelf unit thingy there like with that music thing and like yeah it's really cool lots of different shades of purple again i think a lot of people have kind of gone for that like purpled it up but i just love that there's such a variety of other colors and um and stuff i don't know oh yeah i do know what that little gold person on the uh, thing is but yeah it's really it's really good I don't think I've seen that picture before, although, yeah, that's a cool picture. Uh, the one with the purple glasses. I mean, it's really cool. And um, one thing that's great with Marcella, because she submitted so many, I don't have to choose between hers. <laughs> oh, we're going outside. Oh, yeah, and I should probably also mention, I'm just going to tab out of this just so I can get back to, because I'm doing them sort of in order of, where I placed them so um yeah so Marcella actually made a, a house made from like four of these rooms and probably some other bits I haven't actually viewed the house and I haven't put it on this lot or anything um separately but like what a cool idea um I strongly suggest all of you go and have a look at it because yeah her builds are just banging so we are in the next one that Marcella's done, so we've got the bedroom now. Um, again, some really nice touches. Um, and like, some of this must be like gal custom gallery art or something, because I haven't seen, unless like I just, yeah, that's got to be, yeah. But even that, look how good that wall is with that bit of the curtain, so you've got, a range of different colours, like that's probably one of my favourite pictures in the game, the um, hot dog and um, and the rainbow tap and you've got a minty frame and everything and then you've got a purple wardrobe and a red wardrobe, it's just really good, just the thought that's gone into it, properly impressed, once again.
uh, by Marcella. Hang on, I've gone the wrong way. Um, right, okay, so that must mean I'm going this way <laughs> through the headboard. Yeah, here we go. So this is the kitchen from her house. Now this, oh my goodness, just the detail and like, I've got a soft spot for lilac kitchen. So lilac's actually my least favorite color ever. But in terms of making interiors with it, so like I've been really uncomfortable having lilac hair. It's not something that I uh, enjoyed. But yeah, like the, um, I just, there's something about it in kitchens. In my first ever flat, I um, painted the walls lilac in my kitchen. Um, I really love it. And I didn't realize that that dresser came in a pink swatch that actually goes quite well with it. I just love the different combination of different things in here. We don't have any geometric shapes though, I don't think yet, which obviously isn't, um, well, I suppose the, the um, like jar lights kind of squarey, but I mean, not that it's a requirement, I'm just, uh, just saying. It's lovely though, I really love this. Okay, what way did we come in? I mean, I literally don't know where I'm going now. Uh, am I going this way? Yeah, no, that's where we came from. Too quick to say yeah and be excited, right? Back this way. <laughs> I mean, any of you that watch my videos regularly are massively used to the fact now that like my cameramanning skills are rubbish. And I think this is the last one of Marcella's. Um, so again, so many cool swatches and stuff that I've just never seen before. Like the flowers on that chest of drawers, they're just so pretty. There's a lot going on here. I really like that it is, because it's like cherry blossoms and stuff. And ah, that's such a cool picture there. I really love that cat picture. Um, just the detail to like, you know, even managed to like squeeze some shoes in there. Like, you know, there's some cool stuff. There's definitely, like, I just, it's really nice. Ugh, what the heck's that? Okay, I don't even know that that baby thing existed. That looks really horrible. Okay, but <laughs> no offense to the room itself. I just really don't like dolls. Um, no, this is cool, isn't it? Yeah, like, again, it's just, and it's just tying those little bits in, you know, and the, like, so then you've got the little blossom tree thing as well. It all just ties in. There's always, like, with Marcella's builds, I always find that, like, you, there's a, you can look at a room in a certain angle and you can see, like, in each view, there are things that tie in, you know, and then there's the green boxes that match the green, like, moss or whatever covering that the plants got at the bottom just the placement of everything nothing's all square on you got you know like just the placement of like the tv which makes sense because it's for gaming obviously with that's been placed there and then you can sit on the bed and play you know it's just all these things have been thought out um and that just feels really good to me oh and another picture there with a pink tree see it's just it's all really cool right now we are now in this room by bohemian ronnie now look I, I something like i think other people have just gone a bit mental or kind of gone with one of the themes from one of the packs or something um this feels grown up somehow it also feels like this is like an actual like studio room for like someone who is into music i like the way that the room's divided up like this could be a musician or something there's a guitar there there's amps and stuff i've never used that footstool puff thing whatever it is um like that i've never really thought about putting different colored ones there's a box under the sofa i don't think i've ever used that plant thing in that swatch there's some really smart things here i was gonna <laughs> i was gonna call her purple ronnie then um bohemian ronnie yeah no i really appreciate this stuff and although because i was thinking oh yeah you kind of need to do red to incorporate all the colors but actually in this color scheme 
the sort of the darker peachy coloured flowers they do really tie into like the orange chairs I really like how it kind they kind of come out it, it feels like the curtains have been embraced here um because they're kind of modern um yeah really nice really nice okay so next we are on to right so um on a liana i don't know if that's how you say her name she uh, like she has amazing builds she does all kind of stuff so she's another one that's gone with the base game curtains um it's really interesting actually tr using different wall textures like i love those doors that came with the industrial um kit now yeah really interesting using the um like that modern wallpaper um but then tying it in with like like you can see like the the texture and stuff on the wall is really cool as well and then like sort of tying it in with those sofas to kind of bring it back to that kind of old style it's really interesting um yeah i like it i like it i don't actually like are they from bowling those um you know those chevrony things on the wall i don't feel like oh, i get they kind of would go with the other curtains in a way because they've got the pale yellow and the red on them I don't feel like they go necessarily in that room but thankfully um, with um, on a Liana we've got um, four rooms four uh, again apologize for saying anyone's names wrong I have no idea many of you like I've only seen it written down I don't know um, this is a cool room so this is like definitely some of the stuff from bowling um i don't think i've ever seen that display case thing before that looks cool um yeah it's really like the bowling kit generally is really underused um so yeah i really like this i like that the guitars are there and stuff yeah it's just something a bit different which is cool um oh i've gone the wrong way or have i um I haven't gone the wrong way right let's get out get out I don't know where I, right okay <laughs> let's um next row so those are two of her rooms and then we've got another two over here which are again very different so they kind of got a similar theme to them somehow like with the bowling stuff um but here Oh, now this is my kind of room. This is, I think this was uh, like labelled as like grandma room. Um, just look at it. All of the things, all of the things, even a gnome that I don't mind. Um, but this wall, there's some like, so it's using a lot of the kind of the collections of pictures kind of wall art in the game but then adding extra things in they're really cool i love it i love that wall it's really good like solidly good i'm just going to go back out the actual archway here because then i can see yeah what i'm doing <laughs> sorry unprofessional cameramaning once again and this is the final one by her so um oh so basically run with the dinosaur theme so i really like that i think possibly this uh, embraces these curtains more than many of the other ones that have used these these curtains so far just because i didn't know those trees came in other colors i might use those a bit more now so we've got them overlapping there but that looks really good um it's really hard sometimes i think to get the clutter right for kids rooms um i really enjoy doing it because of like different colors and stuff like that that you can use you know there's a lot of bright colorful things but this and i never know how to use this rug i just feel like it's thrown all the, di the dinosaur stuff out but actually it really works i love that these are like a little dinosaur family um and there's a little dinosaur there um and like the way that it's like train set and everything like the way everything's been placed and it's just really nice 
I really like this room. It's cool. Um, okay, so next. <gasps> Whoa, okay, okay, so um, this is Jenkable, which I think is someone called Jenna. Um, this, this is, okay, so <laughs> I'm just too busy just looking around the room, just going like, wow. Um, okay, so I really like the choice of window with the curtains. Like, not all of the windows have kind of fit the curtains quite. Um, so you've got the red and orange from that carp picture. There's a cat scratcher, so that's always a good thing. I think I've warped this room a bit by uh, zooming in and out and things, but I mean, we'll just we'll just deal with that for now. Um, oh, wow, I've just noticed. So the walls have got like stains and stuff on. Those look like Strangerville ones that have all been individually placed. It's damp under the window. Oh my God, this is like somewhere that I would have had to live. Um, but they have made the most of it. There's Day of the Dead, like, you know, sugar skull kind of stuff. There's cleaning stuff. There's, oh my goodness, hang on one sec. Well, let's just look at this nice little crafting area here. There's a flamingo, which is always a good idea in any build. There's no build that a flamingo doesn't add an extra benefit to. It just, it just... So we've got this bit, but look at this, like, coffee table it's made of cones with like a tabletop on it. It's so cool. Like, I mean, I just love how everything's like mismatched and stuff. Like, it looks like a student that's got taste or something um, has this room, but then you've got like the bubble blower, but I love that little um, footstool with his little face and like, oh. And then that little desk area and it's got all the fairy lights and just nice things. It's really, and the placement of everything. Just, and the, the amount of like custom made furniture essentially. So what even is that? So is that a table? I think that's a table. And then with another table on top of it and then with wall units on top and then those like wooden, um, what are they like um i don't know they're just kind of like wall feature thingies i think that's how that's been made like i'm always blown away by the effort i love the crystals like this is so cool i love the amount of people that put like rainbow flags and stuff in because like that's totally my bag i love it i love it and that's one of my favorite rugs in the game but I don't feel like it's just thrown together. Somehow it all kind of ties in. The color choices are just amazing. And I feel like if you decorated a room like this, you would choose those curtains again. Like, really would. Um, right, okay, so. I think this is our last one. So this one um, was put on as an actual lot. So I have kind of like, I just took the room out and put that in my gallery to put the room back down. Um, so it's J Singer 2019. And some really interesting, see I never put fireplaces off center and that looks really good there. There are some really nice things in here. Really nice. They've gone with like the kind of a pale blue in areas. They've tried to bring in the red. There's some cool ideas. Some cool ideas. I do love that door. And again, really nice window choice as well. I was trying to stop warping it around and everything. Yeah, really nice window choice. Um, I think that that's quite a cool idea. Um, yeah, I really like this one as well. Okay, so I'm going to go out into the world so that I can try and judge this. So I said that I was going to offer a prize of a stuff pack, I think, to the person who, the one that I loved the most. So I think I'm going to say this one. This, um, 
Jenka Ball one, uh, Jenna. So I think the reasons I love this the absolute most. So it embraces these curtains. It genuinely looks like you would have these curtains if you had this room. Like you don't think, oh, these curtains are out of place or anything like that. Um, and I love so many of the aspects, the way that things have been put together, custom stuff, detail and everything. A lot of effort and thought has gone into this and it's just beautiful. And like the choice of window as well. Like, you know, that it's just, it's just really cool. It's just really cool right now. I need to actually make a note um, <laughs> of who, right, okay. So that is my winning one. However, as you guys all know, I often end up giving away more prizes because I'm always blown away by the skill and talent and creativity and stuff you guys have. And yeah, it's just great. So um, I am going to say that, um, now what, what mm, okay, I will clarify this in the description and I will also tweet out the, the details and stuff as well. Um, for clarity in case I talk rubbish here. So I have a winner and then I'm gonna have runners up. So I think I said a stuff pack, but I might have said a game pack, I don't know. So anyway, so the winning person is Jenkable and they get whatever the top prize is. <laughs> and then I would like to offer a kit to the following people. So um, I'm gonna say on a Liana, and uh, Marcella, both of you, like four rooms each. And there were some, like from both of you, I think there were particularly two, two of each that I really, really loved. Um, yeah, so I loved the dinosaurness here. I loved the grandma stuff here. I loved the, um, the kitchen one and um and also the the sort of the way that the flowers and everything linked in in this one so like really really cool stuff there um so a kit each to you two and then i would like to also give a special shout out to bohemian ronnie i again this was the other one where i thought this person would actually have these curtains um so yeah, and like I, I really, there's a lot that I really enjoy about this one. I would say this is probably like, you know, a second place if anything, but I don't want to rank all of them. You've all done a massively good job. Um, I, I really, really, really like that one. Um, so a kit to you, Bohemian Ronnie. And then the other one, um, I would say Pickle Tiara, just because the shapes as well as the colours I think were really thought out. I think that it's really cohesive and generally I just, some of the things are just my style and really, really beautiful and I just think they're lovely. So a kit for you too. And as ever, if any of you already have all the kits that you want or you have all of them, or if you're just a nice person, you can donate them to anyone else. Just give me anyone else's um, origin ID and I will get those sorted for you. So um, yeah, I will put everything in the description. Thank you everyone for watching. I've probably waffled on for ages. I'm probably I'm a bit scared to see how long this video is and if I've got to re-record it or what I've got to edit out. Um, thank you to all of you. I appreciate all of you so much every time that you spend your actual time doing a challenge that I've kind of decided. And I really do apologize for, for how late um, this has been um, in me judging it and everything. So thank you all for your patience and everything. And I love all of the entries. Um, I wish I could give you stuff to, to like everyone, but I would run out of money. So um, I can't. So um, yeah, um, thank you everyone for watching um, and be excellent to each other. Bye-bye.